now see the clinical features of breast cancer suppose there is one educated female and this female whenever she is going to notice any lump the moment she is going to notice any lump immediately she is coming to you so in majority of patients what is the most common presentation it's the lump so most common presentation and that's lump clear so this is an educated female a female who notices the lump and she came to you directly right now see suppose female is from rural area and she is ignorant she noticed the lump but what she is just ignoring so what will happen see this is the breast she noticed the lump slowly slowly what will happen there is enlargement of the lump so there is enlargement of the size of lump so because of that what will happen can you see over a period of time because of increase in the size of lump what happens there is architectural distortion what the shape of breast is going to change and if she is going to see the symmetry of breast this breast become asymmetrical so there is architectural distortion there is asymmetry after that what happens this lump is going to involve breast skin it can involve nipple and it can involve chest wall so if there is involvement of breast skin there is skin fixity if there is involvement of nipple there is nipple retraction nipple deviation nipple ulceration and if it is going to involve the chest wall there is fixity to chest wall so what are the other presentations it can lead to architectural distortion architectural distortion it can lead to asymmetry clear because of skin involvement there can be skin fixity because of nipple involvement there can be nipple retraction deviation and ulceration and because of involvement of chest wall there can be fixity to chest wall fixity to chest wall clear there are various signs also which are very very important and image based questions related to these signs are asked in exam see those signs so in this female can you see this nipple right nipple appears normal but if you see this left nipple can you see it is retracted so this is what nipple retraction so this is how it looks like this is nipple retraction now can you see here the breast is having orange peel appearance can you see here depressions are there and there is cutaneous edema so this is known as pud orange and simultaneously if you see the nipple nipple also appears retracted this was the question which was asked in aims in aims the question was asked that what is the most conspicuous sign of breast cancer and it's the pud orange which is the most conspicuous sign so the name of this is the pud orange clear the question was that this is the most conspicuous sign of breast cancer okay now see what's the cause of this beauty orange so what happens here in these cases you can see that this is the lymphatics clear in this lymphatics there is lymphatic permeation by tumor cells so the tumor cells are going to enter into the lymphatics of skin and because of this there is lymphatic obstruction so because of this lymphatic obstruction there is cutaneous edema and the skin appears like orange skin clear so that's why it's known as pud orange so what's the cause it is caused by lymphatic permeation of tumor cells lymphatic permeation okay by tumor cells and because of this what happens there is cutaneous edema so it leads to cutaneous edema this image based question and question related to pud orange was asked many times after that there are three terms which are asked in exams also and it is asked frequently in viva also one is dimpling second is puckering and third is cancer in cuirass okay the best way to remember these words is by the actual or literal meaning of these terms so suppose dimpling so what is dimpling in that there is dimple formation so you must have seen dimple see can you see here 
so dimpling means what depression so whenever there is skin depression that is dimpling what is puckering in puckering there is wrinkling can you see here wrinkles so if there is wrinkling that is puckering so in this image can you see here that there is skin depression and we discussed in the anatomy what's the cause of dimpling it's the involvement of which ligament ligament of cooper clear so this is what this is dimpling so in this you can see there is skin depression and what's the cause there is skin depression and there is involvement of which ligament it is caused by involvement of ligament of cooper ligament of cooper in puckering also there is ligament of cooper but what happens in puckering there is wrinkling so in this image can you see here here you can see that there is wrinkling or skin fold and this is known as puckering so this is puckering so in the puckering what's the problem there is wrinkling or skin fold okay and here also what's the cause wrinkling or skin fold and the cause is it is also because of involvement or infiltration of ligament of cooper so this is also because of infiltration of ligament of cooper so you have to remember that in both dimpling and puckering there is involvement of ligament of cooper now focus on right breast in this case can you see there are multiple nodules can you see in the right breast there are multiple nodules and ulceration so what is the cause of this multiple nodules and ulceration it is because of involvement of breast skin and chest wall and this is known as cancer in cuirass so what's the name of this condition it's known as cancer in cuirass clear and in this case we are going to find multiple nodules so you can see here there are multiple nodules and ulceration in the breast it's because of involvement of breast skin and chest wall breast skin and chest wall clear so these are the three terms which are frequently asked dimpling puckering and cancer in cuirass so these are the image based questions related to science